Well, it was typical Trump for the most part. The president touting the accomplishment. He says it is administration has made since he took office, but also putting a Montana spin on things as he campaigned for both Matt Rosendale and Greg Gianforte and fired several shots at their Democratic opponents. MTN's Jill Valley and Mike Dennison had ringside seats for the rally. Join us now with more. The crowd of thousands that showed up to hear the president speak tonight were not disappointed. He talked for more than an hour. In fact, as they're leaving the venue right now, many are staying so they can watch Air Force One take off. They're making this kind of a full experience for them. Different that this venue did allow people to watch the plane land. And then when the president started talking, he covered just about every topic you can think of and did it differently. Normally we hear from the candidates he's promoting, Greg Gianforte, or Matt Rosendale before he starts talking. But Mike, in this situation, he actually brought them up in the middle of his speech, which is different from how he's done it in the past. That's right, he went about a half hour before he really mentioned any candidate, before he mentioned John Tester or Matt Rosendale, and brought Rosendale up about 35 minutes in. He talked for about six minutes, but it was clear, he made it clear the reason he was here and the reason Rosendale was here and GN42 were to get people out to vote. Many times they said, direct me to the crowd, you need to get out and vote. Otherwise, we're going to lose everything we've gained. And uh, he had a lot of uh, very complimentary things to say about Democrats, too, didn't he? They made up a series of lies that were horrible. And John Tester led the group. That's really why I'm here. It's not that we need the vote so badly. I think we're going to do very nicely in the Senate, I hope. I think we should pick up seats. Also, I'm here because I can never forget what John Tester did to a man that's of the highest quality. You would have loved this man in this state. He'd be one of you. He'd be one of you. And so I said, I got to come. I got to come here. I got to help. Because what he did was unfair. What he did, what he did was vicious. What he did was as they did with Judge Kavanaugh. Another thing the president said frequently was Democrats produce mobs, Republicans produce jobs. He talked a lot about that. He also took his typical shots at the media about three different times. But interestingly, he also brought up Greg Gianforte's encounter with that Guardian reporter. Well, he brought it up not once, but twice. He, uh, I wouldn't say he congratulated him, but he basically complimented Gianforte for punching a member of the press and suggested it might have benefited him in winning the election. And, and I can't imagine that Gianforte was too happy about that being brought up. I think it's something he kind of liked to put behind him and forget about here we have the President of the United States bringing it up, like I said, not once, but twice. But Greg is smart. And by the way, never wrestle him. You understand that? Never. Any guy that can do a body slam, he's my kind of... Back to you, Sammy and Russ in the studio. Well, The Guardian releasing a statement in response to the president's words about Gianforte's attack on their reporter Ben Jacobs saying in part to celebrate an attack on a journalist who was just doing his job is an attack on the First Amendment.